Wake up guys, it is time to do some peg hunting on Twice Diecast. Yeah, it's early. It's real early and we are here when the doors opened at a couple different stores. Recently, I took a trip to Louisiana. I've got family there and popped into a Kroger, a monster Kroger. Check this out. Shoes, clothes, barbecue grills, you name it, you can get it here. This is a Kroger Marketplace in Shreveport. They have a fantastic diecast section. You can see I've got a whole toy section, which is weird. This is a grocery store primarily, but they've got several aisles dedicated to toys, including a full aisle, as you see, of die cast. We see a Hot Wheels bin lurking at the end. We'll get to it after we go through these dump bins. These are my sorting, so I didn't have any indication that it had already been gone through, and uh, to my chagrin, of course it had. Got a dump bin of Zuru metal machines. Hadn't seen that. They are really pushing these on us collectors now. I'm starting to see these everywhere. Let's get to what we are here for. We've got some Hot Wheels premiums hanging. We've got some garbage. We'll drop that right away. See what we've got. We've got some old stock. You're gonna look at some stuff that has been out quite a while, mixed in with some new stuff. I still love that Guinevere van from Disney. Uh, Back to the Future 3 with the wagon wheels on it. Eh, maybe one day, uh, a couple years ago, I would have been all over that. Kind of getting out of the whole entertainment series stuff. Let's look at some of the two packs and team transports. Pretty new stuff out. Sylvia got the new Benz Rally. I don't know what you call that. Is this the yellow pig? Seems like the one before it in red was the red pig. Pretty new stuff. Got the AMC Rebel, I believe, coming up after this, if I can remember my cars. This was Ford Galaxy, my bad. About three to four weeks ago at the time of this video posting, so a lot of you guys hopefully have found these in your store already. And I do have some of the newer Team Transports on a short that uh, just popped on twice diecast not too long ago what do y'all think about those mismatched color wheels on that i am up in the air i don't know the the whole scene that those cars race in or or whatever they do um so i don't know if that is legit how that car looks in real life looks pretty cool it admittedly i'll give it that let's keep on looking what else do we have here we're not going to mess around with mario kart or cards we've got some ancient matchbox global we've got uh we did have some cars power grabs hadn't seen those that's a joke of course those are not power grabs here's what a power grab is power grab refers to the matchbox that are in the well matchbox looking boxes so again we've got some ancient matchbox global series we've got this corvette moving parts that was trying to jump out of the package Probably a theft to get interrupted in the middle. 2016 Stingray looking pretty sharp with the hood. I like it. I like it. I've got a Corvette, so I do like most Corvettes that come out in diecast. What else do we have? Uh, Matchbox, less than, well, nope, about $1.25 each. Not too many. Uh, the store had been hit pretty hard by collectors, as I learned. Uh, got that new Japan five pack. There's some cars in that five pack that I really like. I hope you guys like that Infinity. I think that's a really cool G37, maybe. It's got the 510. It's got the Nissan Junior as well. Just a pretty solid five pack from Matchbox. One collector's edition, this old gold G Wagon. Not my thing, almost borderline baller vehicle right there i've got two new hitching hauls we've got the toyota excuse me volkswagen truck as well as the concrete or cement mixer team both of those in plenty of quantities they've been sitting there a while as you can tell 
Maisto trying to get uh, your team transport money with these $9.99, including this Mustang with some pretty loud wheels on it. Uh, we will keep on trucking a few Hot Wheels here and there. I knew from previous experience where the Hot Wheels main lines are going to be. They'll be a little bit later. You can see the power grabs are gone. Somebody bought the entire uh, stock of Matchbox. So took a look at this 10 pack real quick. Not a whole lot going on with it. Seems pretty old or readily available. Got some M2s here. Ground pounders usually not going to look at those very long. Just making sure there are no chase vehicles here on the shelf. And at this point, I'm starting to realize, you know, this, that's a pretty cool El Camino. Uh, this store is going to be a pretty good uh, location for hunters. So didn't expect to find a whole lot of chase pieces here. We'll go through the M2 sets just to make sure as well. Check that last one. Nope, that demon is just a regular release 21.99 american for these transports and what have we got next let's go down we'll make sure there's no die cast on the other side of the aisle as i as i make you guys nauseated from my camera resolution trying to keep up with my movement the hot wheels bin started to look like the ultimate Mario Kart troll. I was wondering, did they fill the whole stinking thing up with that? But there are some main lines hidden in here. Again, not going to worry too much. There's an entire end cap of main lines right there to my right. Like I said, as I had gotten this far into the hunt at this store, it was pretty evident that a lot of the stuff was old. These are older cases and it had been picked through, so we're not going to go through every peg. We will make sure just here on the ends that there's no supers that have been left hanging. And of course there wasn't. Plenty of fantasy cars for you guys. Let's take a look. We've got F case on this peg. As I put the sound to this video, I believe L and M and N case in 2022 are current on the shelves. So you can see this store loads up on lots of quantity and it sits there quite a while. This is a lot of main lines to be in a grocery store. Again, just going to double check, make sure that Nova wagon isn't a super, make sure Someone just didn't miss something. There are some premiums tucked away over here. We'll take a look at those real quick before we pull the trigger on hit and stop number two. A little bit of excitement and encouragement when I saw a few Deutschland designs, but no chase. That's okay. Here is your vehicle. No, that's not the vehicle. That's a chase. My bad. Um... I think those were the only two that day. So I think we're going to make our way out to the next store. We've got two Kroger's, a Target, and one other place that we're going to stop all within about a mile of each other. So we'll take the L on this one and move on down the road. Up next is going to be a, I believe it's going to be a Target. It's still early and actually Walmart was closer. So let's go to a Walmart super center and started to notice as I'm hunting in Louisiana and I've seen this in the deep South as well. A lot of UK cars are left on the pegs here in the States. And, and we'll see that kind of play out. So if you are a collector of, well, frankly, JDM or European cars, sometimes you have odd luck in the Southern states of the United States because almost all the muscle cars are going to be gone, especially any kind of chase piece. But that doesn't mean uh, it's all 
bad news for collectors here in America because if you happen to like other cars from around the world, like me, sometimes you get to find some cars that you wouldn't expect to still be here. For instance, a Lancia Delta Integrale, brand new, I believe, at the time that I made this video. I think this was a pretty new case. So a little bit encouraged here at Walmart. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, first indications ever I've seen here in the States of the VW set. This is going to be eight cars. It's going to be not quite premium, but not a main line. You can see them right there. A few really good looking ones and harder to find castings. We'll take a look at some newer Matchbox, see what is current. There's the new GTI Golf. There's the white Plymouth Savoy, I believe. Really cool. What a cool idea to do that car. Kudos to Matchbox and Mattel for that one. This Matchbox Scout always trips me up thinking it's, or excuse me, field car. Uh, I always think it's some kind of old Bronco, but that is a fantasy casting. Plenty of those INC, whatever you call them, they are on every peg, every store I go to. The new blue Alfa Romeo Julia, looking really good. And some older stuff. Let's see what else we've got. Monster Jam with the two cars. Uh, you get one truck and one race car. That was a new thing for me to see. Here's an example of what I'm talking about, guys. The Ford Rally set. Really cool cars. And then you got the, I don't know what you call this, uh, Euro Hypercar set. At least 10 sets of those sitting right there. Here's some of the newer team transports again. Pretty cool stuff from M2. Take a look at that tab. If anybody remembers that drink, that is going way back to my early memories as a kid. Back in the 70s, here's some M2 stuff again. We're just always going to make sure we're not missing a chase vehicle. That's an interesting set. And no gold wheels today. Mr. Pibb looking good on a VW van. Like the color matched wheels on that. Nine bucks here in the States for that. Thought this was going to be the Mellow Yellow Gasser. Would have grabbed it. It is a Willis Jeep. With a pretty cool Mellow Yellow surfboard. So pretty cool set from M2. Johnny Lightning with a couple of two packs. Uh, Zingers and again. You're going to find Land Rovers and Austin Mini Pickups. You do get the Baja Bouncer, but check this out, guys. Even the poor Volvo, which is a really cool casting. Just sitting there chilling on the pegs. Of course, the Sunny Trucks are going to be gone. And the Lycan Hypers Hypercar, Hypersport. But uh, it gets worse at this Walmart, so I'll, I'll just forewarn my... UK and especially one particular UK watcher, Mr. Rapid Nismo, he'll have to turn away from the screen here when you see what I find in the clearance section at this Walmart. Some green lights, love that MacGyver Jeep Cherokee with the wood cladding on the side. Uh, what else have we got here, guys? We've got some stars and stripes here hanging down on the pegs hidden and now just to to make my point um we need more uk vehicle awareness here in the states especially in my home state of louisiana i will do everything in my power to advise the people of the great state of louisiana to get on board with some of these cool european vehicles here's a jdm truck sitting on clearance not sure why and rapid nismo this volvo your favorite one sitting here on the clearance shelf 373 all right off to another kroger a smaller one this one is going to have some live cut scene footage from inside the store i never do that but uh just felt i had to on this occasion you can see this is a much smaller store one little section carved out for some toys a couple of hot wheel shippers uh thought 
you know, who knows? Maybe they just stuck them out. No chance of that. They were old stuff. I rearranged everything, made it nice and neat for them. And I will tell you what I find here shortly. You can see this is a case from earlier this year. Nothing big at all. Here's a Cybertruck. Looking like a dud of a hunt so far, especially at this Kroger. And I'll just let you listen to some music until we get to the cutscene. Okay guys, I'm so excited. Normally I don't do this live from the store, but I just had to show you after going through those shivers, we got two Velociraptors. Velocer racers, excuse me. The mine card and two bubble matics. Yeah, so that was a dud. Let's go to the next one. Oh well, even though uh, we're not finding a whole lot, it's still a beautiful morning. Great time to be out hunting. Hope you guys get out, have a chance to do that. Let's go to this super target. We were here when the doors opened. Uh, they were turning on the lights as I was walking toward the toy aisle. Even with that being the case, I still was neck and neck with a dude that went straight to the cars, knew exactly what he wanted, went over to the car section uh, for the Pixar stuff to see if there were any chase pieces. So the hunters are out, certainly in this area. Uh, pegs are looking pretty sparse here. We'll take a look at the premiums and we'll just see. There's that two pack. I know uh one of my viewers chris christopher he's looking for that i hope he's found it by the time he watches this video got some ultra huts still pretty cool set uh glad i picked up a set of that i'll give that away on a giveaway coming up soon keep your eye out for some information on a giveaway um in the near future and don't forget anybody who donates to the diecast day of giving will also have a chance to win a pretty cool giveaway I'm doing on my channel. So plenty of audio, uh, excuse me, auto world. We will uh, verify that there are no ultra red chase vehicles. And I don't know why, I don't know if I thought maybe that was an ultra raw version, but certainly not. We seemed like we had three or four cat, uh, I guess castings because there were a couple different colors of the Corvette, the Lincoln, maybe the Nova Wagon, and then that Dodge Stealth, and that was it. It seemed like we had both versions of the same release, if that makes any sense. Lincoln Mark V hiding back there. Got some other Johnny Lightning. The Red Lotus Esprit. I've talked about it in other videos. I think the wheel arch on the rear, just a little bit off, otherwise I'd be all over that one. Maybe even more pronounced on this uh, brown one. Take a look at it and you tell me, does it ride a little high? Who knows? Um, maybe it'll be retooled in the future. I will certainly be a fan if that is the case. New MGB Coupe or coupe in yellow. Looking good, love that you get front and rear paint on that. On the detail, uh, lamp detail I mean. There's a new Fiat 500 Turbo, Renault van, and looks like the Toyota Hilux. One lone Honda pickup from the Matchbox Collector's version. I guess we had the Jaguar as well. F-Type Coupe looking really good. All right, so let's hit a Hobby Lobby. We won't spend a whole lot of time here, but I did find some stuff. This was my, probably the best store of the day. We've got a little bit of Auto World. We've got some Green Light. We've got some M2 as always. How about these two pack of these vans? That's really cool. Oh, even better. Check out this Hummer slash Blazer combo that's a neat two-pack there's the mx5 really well done i'll for some reason i really liked that convertible i think we find a chase piece here that will be given away as part of the diecast day of giving 
prize package. We'll sh I'll show you that because it's a very interesting casting to have a chase piece set. And chase pieces on these two piece sets uh, mean you get a lot, of, a lot of chase pieces in the set. Got some champions, uh, racing champions mint. All right, so picked up this two pack from M2, kind of a neat VW van set. I love this Crown Vic wagon. I know somebody who will like that. Had to get this Black Bandit version of a Sherman tank. Haven't seen that in a store since. Got this Aston Martin Lagonda. I had not seen that in a while and it's one of the coolest cars I had found way back in the day. And then check this out, guys. We're gonna give this away. You get a M, excuse me, Johnny Lightning Hummer H2, I believe. White Lightning with the trailer. I mean, you get, good grief, you get uh, like 10 White Lightning wheels on that one. So that's gonna do it for Hobby Lobby. As I wrap up, I'm gonna show you this very small video I shot in a Books A Million because it had some cars coming out for the end of the year. As I wrap up, we'll take a look at the Holiday Series Minus One Car. This is David at Twice Diecast. I hope you've enjoyed this peg hunt video from Louisiana in the summer of 2022. Until then, take care. I will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.